Hey guys, Chip here, and today let's talk about some new updates and upgrades for KitOps Pro and KitOps Free. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is this new concept called set. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the new version of KitOps that we're talking about. So we're looking at 2.23.5, and you can see that these are all the KPACs that I have installed. And I have this new thing up here called set all. And if I look at, for instance, decals, notice this little eye icon. It is only showing the ones that are set for decals. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this set called decals. You just click on this X button. Okay, so let's create a new set called decals. I'll type in here decals and I'll hit the create button. And now I'll have a new set called decals with all my master folders selected. So remember, these are all master folders. The difference between a master folder and a K-Pack is that a master folder houses a bunch of different K-Packs. So when we go over here and we look at this, these are all the K-Packs. But some of these, like all these orange ones, all reside in a single master folder. And here are the master folders over here. So let's take a look at this. I've got this decals and I'm going to turn off all the ones that I don't want. So I'm going to leave on my design magic master folders. I know I have decals in here and then I'll just go down here and just keep, you know, turning these off and I'm going to use some Sir Charles's. I'm going to leave his on and then I'll leave these materials and I'll also keep on the KitOps free materials master folder that comes with KitOps free and KitOps pro. And then once that's done, I'm going to save my preferences. And now I have a sci-fi box one. So you can see that's it's got these, I've got the all, and I have the decals. So let's go ahead and close this, and I'm gonna look in here, and I can see up here I have all, and when I click over here, this is showing all of the K-Packs I have in the all set of master folders. And then I'll go down to Cybox, and I click here, and these are all those, and then the one we just created decals, and that's just these. So it's a really nice way to organize all of your different KPACs so that you can quickly access them for the project and workflow you're working on. So this next new feature is one that we've been asking for for quite a while, and uh, it's really cool. Let me show you exactly what it is. So let's go in. We're going to grab this new CW Hero, which is part of the EV Materials KPAC. It's a brand new material. It was just created, and it's pretty amazing, actually. And we're going to select this object, and we're going to add this material to it. And you can see what happens is that it puts a bevel on things, and it creates kind of a, some scratches that cut through and some bumps that stick out and all kinds of stuff. And what's cool about this particular material actually is that all you do is you just stick it, you know, in between any material, just stick it in between any material. You just grab this group node and stick it in between any material and it turns it into this. So let's change this a little bit. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to set this to be something like maybe kind of dark with no saturation make it metallic and let's make it kind of rough. There we go. And let's go in and let's adjust the intensity of the scratches. They may be a little too strong. These, these parentheses, by the way, are just the uh, actual defaults for that, that setting. I'll set that up like that. Maybe change the scale to something 1.3, make it a little scratch. It's kind of smaller. And then I'm going to come in here and in the dirt area, I am going to change this color a little bit so that it's kind of a rust color as you can see and now let's look at this in cycles so we can kind of see what that looks like yeah and that's kind of what we want we kind of want a rusty steel let's go here and let's change this from co cw hero let's just call it cw hero rusty and then i'll go i'll put it i'm going to put it in this actual advanced dirty k-pack right and then i just right click on this and say kit ops create material and check this out. So it's just going to take the material that's on here, whatever the slot that you've assigned, because it can work with different slots and it creates an icon and puts it over here. And so if I want, then I create a new project. Let's go ahead and quickly add an insert. And we have this little object here and we can just very quickly go in and grab our material using one of our favorites here. I'll just go in here and here's this rusty and I say add material and bam, it just works just that simply. So that's what's cool about this new add material. You just right click kit ops and create material and it puts it in whatever designated K-Pack you have set up and it creates a thumbnail for you. So how cool is that? 
Okay, let's talk about the next new feature. We have changed this from smart mode to group mode and deleted one of the buttons. And it makes more sense, actually. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go in here and we're going to grab uh, out of one of our design magic collection this new widget which is an antenna so i'm going to just basically take this antenna i'll select our object let's turn this on select our object and let's add the insert here and i'll just move it around and let's hold the alt key down let's rotate it maybe like this right here and then maybe just uh hit the f button so that we're gonna or the V button, which we're going to put it right in the middle right here. That's the vertice. So you can see that, actually, if you want to see what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and look at the wireframes. You can see that, you know, if I, if I right click on this and say Kit Ops Relocate Insert, you know, I can put it anywhere, but it's going to snap to whatever vertice. If I hit the F button, it's going to snap to whatever face, right? So I'm going to hit the V button. Let's snap it to this vertice right there. Okay. Let's turn off wireframes. So in group mode, you can move things around however you want, you know, and you can, you know, if you grab anything you grab everything right if i just click on over here it's just going to make sure that i grab this but if i want to get out of group mode and just look at this insert look at the different parts of it. let's say i select this object right here look at the actual x-axis and i'm gonna hit rx and it's going to actually rotate this you know on the x-axis so i can you know move it however i want to i can turn it straight up 90 degrees if i want or whatever so anyway that's just kind of a uh way of manipulating different objects also the other thing i might want to do is just go in here and add a different material to this particular to that object which is what i did right so i just select that object and put a different material on it so and don't forget that while you're in here you can actually you know select different slots right so if i want to select different slots i can add different materials to different slots as well so that's real easy to do inside of kit ops this new group mode is also kind of interesting because it used to be you need to be in this quote smart mode in order to do different things but you don't need to anymore let me show you what i'm talking about i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna select this new design magic insert and i'm just gonna add this insert over here i'm gonna scroll down i'm gonna stick it you know Let's hit on the face, F for face. We'll stick it here, something like this. Let's go ahead and look at this uh, up close. And I'm going to basically make the radius just a little smaller, something like that. Maybe adds, uh, make, maybe make it a, a four rows and, you know, maybe a couple more columns, something like that. So, uh, and then maybe, you know, maybe I want to make it, give it, make it circular in pattern and change the depth so it comes almost to the surface like that now i can actually mirror this about the object so i can say you know let's mirror it about the x-axis and let's go over here and mirror it about the y-axis so i don't need to be in group mode to do all of that so that's really one of the more interesting things as well so group mode makes things much simpler not only to do but also to understand how kit ops works so there's another new feature in kit ops that I think you're gonna like, and that is this Boolean set to exact versus fast. So you know, in your preferences for kit ops, you can set the Boolean solver to either fast or exact. And what this basically means is that when you go in and you add a cutter, let's turn off our face orientation. You'll see when we look in the modifiers, it's set to fast and we can change it to exact or fast. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, so let's take this object and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a, another cube and I'm going to put it right here and it's right on top of it and it's a union. And if we look at this one, we'll see that we've added it here and let's move these around a little bit. Even in the fast mode, it's actually working pretty good. But when we start adding more, let's go ahead and add another cut or something more complex. And we're going to start to scale. You start to see, uh oh, look what happened. It's not going to work correctly, right? But if I go over to exact, if I select our object and go to exact, you'll see that it will work correctly. And the reason for this is that exact takes a lot longer to calculate, but it's a lot more precise. But it also has some very unique considerations that you need to pay attention to. I have a whole video on that, and I suggest you check it out. It's right here. And I'll put a link to it in the description. So this is really nice. And I can also just toggle back and forth as I need. And what it does is it'll change all of the modifiers from exact to fast, as you can see right here. So another thing that we actually fixed was a bug was where if you take an object and you add an insert, right? 
And then you go in here and you say, convert this object to a mesh and then remove wire inserts, right? Before, because that wire insert was the parent of everything else in that group, all of these other objects would fly off because they didn't have any parent anymore for understanding where the origin is. But now that is actually converted correctly. And so now you can select any one of these objects individually and move them, you know, however you want. Another one of the design magic inserts. Another thing that we changed is we actually added three hearts as the icon here in the tool tabs. And that makes it smaller, but it, most importantly, it makes it really easy to find. When you've got all this stuff in the tool tabs, three hearts. And if you see some of our other products, we're gonna be shifting those to have one heart. So that, again, that you'll be able to see our products very quickly in the tool tabs. And so that's about it for this version. A lot of new updates and upgrades, and I hope you really like it. You can obviously get KitOps Pro at both Blender Market and Gumroad. And if you already have it, just go there and get your upgrade there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you online.